When I was in college, I remember it was difficult for a young Provinciano like me to find someone I could date and perhaps court. There were so many girls that I was attracted to at that time, but I had no way of getting to first base and to get to meet them and know them. Today, young people have it a lot easier. They have an app for that, and they can search for people they're attracted to, swipe that person on the app, and then a good match will be set up for them. Sobrang dali na mag-set up ng date. But it's a double-edged sword, I think. The app matches two people who are physically attracted to each other. And with the liberal culture prevailing today among young people, when they are physically and sexually attracted to each other, it is generally expected that they can sleep together at a certain point. I think this is disturbing because the general culture and the technological tools bring to the front end sexual relations, which in the Bible, God meant to be enjoyed by a man and a woman when they get married. This temptation born out of strong physical attraction needs to be tempered. But you might ask, how can you do that when your hormones are raging wildly? The Apostle Paul has sound advice for this. In his letter to the Galatians, he said, But I say, walk by the Spirit, and you will not gratify the desires of the flesh. For the desires of the flesh are against the Spirit, and the desires of the Spirit are against the flesh. For these are opposed to each other to keep you from doing the things you want to do. You know, this passage tells us that we are to walk, to, to live life by the power and the guidance of the Holy Spirit. And we are told not to gratify, which means we do not give in to the demands, we do not relent to the strong pressure of the desires of the flesh. Oh, the desire of the flesh can be very strong and it demands to be satisfied ASAP. It is very difficult to ignore. It can be challenging to overcome. It is difficult, challenging, yes, but not impossible. And the way to overcome it is to call on a higher power that can take over our desires. We need the Holy Spirit. We need to pay attention to the Holy Spirit of God. We need to pay attention to where the Spirit leads. Wherever the Holy Spirit points us to, we follow. We walk by it. We walk in step with the Spirit. The desire of the flesh will clamor for attention, but our focus must be fixed on the Spirit if we have any hope of overcoming the desires of the flesh. Our minds and hearts cannot attend to both. It's either the flesh or the spirit. We cannot pay attention to both. That's because the flesh and the spirit are opposed to each other. When we give in to the desire of the flesh, we've immediately lost contact with the spirit. You are disconnected from God. But if you fix your spiritual eyes on Jesus, if you fix your attention to the move of the Spirit, your mind cannot entertain the flesh. So if you are physically attracted to someone, and that someone is attracted to you, which means temptation is not very far away, and if you want to remain right before God, there is only one thing for you to do walk by the Spirit, you will be able to overcome the desires of the flesh. My friend, as you seek to live a life that is holy and acceptable to God, even as you struggle against physical attraction and the desires of the flesh, please keep in mind, faith matters too.